opportunity that arises. So it's kind of the same story with our uh, citizens' assembly. So basically, what happened last uh, last year before that? Uh, why the, why we did it? Uh, why why the opportunity arose was the political turmoil through the year. There was a funding crisis which started in spring and this escalated with different events through the year and at the end of uh, at, uh, at the beginning of November it was at a kind of uh, boiling point in, in some regards and there was uh, demonstrations which really happened there yeah. and uh, also there was one kind of focusing event which is called Charter 12 it's by, by some thought leaders a kind of manifesto document it was published in, in November that got uh, in a quite short time uh, uh, 80,000 uh, support voices in the petition environment. Uh, so basically it was kind of saying that we are losing the legitimacy of our democracy, so we need to do something. So what, what happened after that was that uh, the president calls for, for groups to negotiate, which is basically the NGO groups, uh, the, the old political parties, uh, and uh, some of the people of the Charter 12, uh, basically, who wrote it. So this was like a live broadcast, a couple of hours from the president's uh, one uh, building called ICE, uh, which uh, uh, caused lots of jokes later. But this uh, basically uh, this is how the, how the meeting looked like, and there was a <coughs> roundtable discussion for for two three hours. And and uh, what emerged from there was a proposal to set up a crowdsourced system to kind of how to fix the system, what kind of laws we need to kind of make make the change. And the five topics that arose there were basically the barriers to political movements, uh, how the financing happens in political parties, uh, how the public can participate between the elections uh, in the process, and uh, what uh, new rules should be in the electoral system, and how the kind of transparency and political corruption should be worked upon. So this was basically this standard in uh, our table, which was uh, called. Uh, Organization called Post the Gobo, which uh, the f under the President's Council, and uh, so we needed to draft uh, draft basically the process and uh, the system to do it with. So this is how it looked like in December when we were kind of first doing first drafts. He lays also there, and uh, so what what emerged from the, this is a basically a kind of this is our first uh, graphical representation of the of the website that we need and uh, and uh, other kind of uh, process uh, parts of how it should happen. Roadmap. So, and during the process, we also found, found a name because we before that we just called it the uh, Easy Long Process, so the basically co-creation of crowd crowd sourcing process. And then basically we did Rafa Gogo, which is kind of uh, rhymes with the Rigi Gogo, the State Assembly, which is the Estonian Parliament. And uh, so this is how it was settled. And this is how our, some of the meetings looked like. So basically, there was a and of core group plus uh, some members from the political parties uh, from the, all the four kind of parliament parties and uh, there was a kind of rotating number of people from different kind of media and Estonian television and so on, who took part of this so and this is uh, the, we had a uh, very limited time because we had to uh, move uh, kind of we, we settled that we have to put it active uh, at the end of December or beginning of January because uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it's kind of too long delay, and people don't remember the uh, problem anymore. So we don't, uh, we can't uh, let it happen too too long. So we had uh, three, four weeks to kind of make it happen. So we did very fast uh, design draft in kind of half a day, and uh, started to kind of communicating what's happening in the social media. We set up the, the page, so we got like three, four hundred people in the, in a couple of weeks. So and, and the steps we agreed upon was first uh, to use the coding, coding based uh, the citizens IS platform that we just heard about. Uh, we had uh, three options, but uh, basically we zoomed in on that because it was the most similar what we wanted. And uh, on, on the coding front, I recommend never start the project in December because everybody <laughs> everybody is uh, is involved in different. All the government uh, organizations are flashing the budgets, and every every program is is involved in something. So, so basically, we had to get search from uh, from I know, from uh, all the all the possible and impossible places to get the team together on the tech and uh, design side. So the so the launch was planned for the president's uh, speech at the end of the year, which was public enough event, and then uh, we had uh, we let some kind of uh, uh, 
to give us more time to kind of uh, go over the bugs and potential problem, we moved it to the 7th of January, uh, the platform launch, and then after that we plan to have uh, um, kind of expert analysis on this and group together the recommendations and then have uh, uh, discussion events on it, and which ends or culminates on the big discussion day with 500 participants. So this was the, the process, and then uh, on the on the seventh, uh, uh, this is the kind of morning papers. Uh, one uh, kind of shot from the from the morning papers, questionnaires uh, of this, and this is so I look behind the scenes. So basically, five o'clock in the morning, we were <laughs> we, we were watching the kind of monitor to see what's what's happening, or is the interest. And there was at the same time was the ETV the television broadcast of uh, what's happening. So this is my kind of. Uh, uh, first impression of the uh, third, uh, 48 hours uh, during the during and after the launch. So basically, what we got in the first day was uh, 80,425 people watching it, uh, 500 registered users, uh, <coughs> and all the radio, the TV, and uh, print media was publishing it, and we got uh, viewers from 68 countries, basically like expat students mostly from all over the place. One of the places uh, you wouldn't uh, think was like. One of the highest uh, um, kind of ranked cities was in uh, Silicon Valley, actually, who was kind of using the site. And so, uh, so, and basically, this is this is uh, this is the launch, and this is how it uh, looked. The first uh, first day looked in the in the Google Analytics. So basically, we had like uh, nine thousand something visits, so about uh, eight thousand people watching. And and the, the the media coverage was extensive, so we were. Very lucky with it, and also because of the attention, we thought about uh, this slightly more than we had uh, got the first at the hacking attempts in the like the first 30 minutes of launch in 5:30 p.m. of getting trying to hack into the system to try post the kind of random stuff, mm -hmm. and so so we were kind of kicking the hackers out while while we were at it. And so and this is the kind of geographical reach of uh, how the people uh, looked at it during the uh, mostly during the January uh, when the consultation or discussion was open. So it was uh, about uh, 60,000 uh, people and uh, in, uh, in uh, about 80 countries. So basically, this is the kind of Estonian uh, diaspora, active diaspora, who took part of it or looked at it. Mm, you know, the media coverage is ever extensive. This is one of the beginning one. And this is basically the end result of these, uh, the five topics we had. We had some also warrior topics, so people who didn't post on the five topics, you could move them to barrier so there was discussion there as well and uh, so we had uh, all together we had about I think 6,000 responses but it was all together with this comments or pro against comments and this uh, here you can see the numbers of uh, and and after after this we did uh, mm. and this was the end of January basically and then in February we uh, started kind of uh, uh, grouping together all these uh, all the responses into team groups and after that, we had discussions on this the, on the five main topics uh, during the, during March. We had a big debate on how we should organize this, but, but finally we settled that we have five uh, topical discussions, which one happened here in the same room uh, uh, with experts plus the plus the people who made it, the proposals. And then after that, we had a kind of ran random sampling of all the student population of 500 people which uh, we call D-Day, or the Deliberation Day. And uh, this is uh, how it looked like. And, and, uh, and uh, not all 500 people appeared there, but over 60 to 314 or 62% appeared, plus the organizing team, which was uh, with, together with me about 100. So this is some shots of uh, how it looked. And also it was kind of broadcast through the day uh, through media. So I think uh, this is one one of the one of the most uh, kind of interesting uh, thing that uh, you could look especially during January when the discussion was happening at the same time that some topic uh, popped up in the in sight it also popped up in the media and it also popped up in the in the parliament discussions so it was kind of happening in synchronicity because there was so much media attention on it so the so the question of how the whole the focus is again the key or what's the opportunity. Also, we, we had a kind of uh, different uh, kind of situation because it was a crisis response, not a kind of uh, other type of um, kind of solution. Uh, or so, so it was easier in this regard. And this, uh, there's some shots from the event. These are the experts' corner. And 
this is uh, not, not to everybody, but about two thirds of the people who haven't left the town, they get group pictures and uh, this is the song, song festival grounds where we had the, uh, the deliberation day. Mm. So basically after that, uh, what happened to all the proposals is that the president handed over the proposals to the parliament for processing and, uh, and the parliament constitutional committee delivers that. This is uh, how it happened. The president gave a speech to the parliament to kind of give more weight to the proposals and uh, pass it on to the, to the, to the deliberation, which uh, and they also invited us uh, from the group, plus uh, there's some public, uh, wider public to take part in a couple of the Constitutional Committee discussions. So this is how the process happened and it's still ongoing obviously uh, in, in this regard, but uh, what we, some lessons that, that we learned from there is uh, that uh, to, you need to narrow down the topics. Uh, so it, uh, the five topics was already kind of too much, but it's, uh, it all helped. Uh, but, uh, but you can't have too wide a discussion if you want to have the focus. Then uh, the, on the te technical platform, one thing we, we thought about was to need to group the themes. Uh, so while the people were adding them, we also would uh, kind of want to fly group it, but we didn't have time to kind of pro program it. But uh, we had a kind of list of things we wanted to do with the platform but couldn't do yet. So this, uh, the third one is to hold the media focus on it as long as possible because this uh, generates interest, uh, you get the people there and you get people from the political side also watching it. And then uh, this uh, obviously uh, recommendation to develop the platform in advance, not in response to the crisis, because we shouldn't have been starting it in September or something like that to, to get it uh, um, as, as well functioning as we want, uh, want it. And, and through the process while you're running it, you, you need to kind of continue trying and improving it in a in the smaller steps. So, and a uh, couple of things what happened to, the, to the, this process is that uh, monitor the process in Parliament and try to see that the pressure is on, that they move on with these recommendations. Then we open sourced the RAFAGO, which basically mean, doesn't mean that it's already open sourced the code anyway, because it's based on the Icelandic code, but, uh, but we mean uh, the process as well, that how we did it, again, recommendations, how to organize similar things, and plus the, our, again, modified code. Mostly the simplifications uh, to make the interface uh, uh, easier for uh, for kind of uh, newcomers and so on. But uh, but uh, and we couldn't use some of the advanced functions because we didn't have time to modify them. But and the, the third one is to see which other big topics we can use similar process in the future. So if uh, something comes up, let's say in a year, uh, then we can use already improved version of the same thing uh, to and uh, use the lessons we learned uh, through the process there. So, and, and other developments that have happened in the overall thing is that the uh, no preference in election has increased. So, basically, the, still the decline of the kind of belief in the political process as it is now. Uh, so, there's, uh, there's several new political movements uh, as candidates for the local government elections this uh, October. And there's uh, also the because of the last year's crisis, the banks are not willing to lend that much to the political parties anymore. And uh, one uh, concrete event in October is the next week that we start off with meet three or the Citizens Assembly and State Assembly meet uh, to kind of see what has happened yeah, and what processes are moving on. For example, one, one of them was the petition law that uh, will, would be a kind of process of how petitions reached uh, Parliament and what's happened them afterwards because we didn't have, uh, don't have any procedure for that. So we'll, we'll see what happens in, uh, in the four days. And then uh, we obviously need to publish it as well to get the media, media informed because uh, as the summer has passed, uh, obviously people are kind of asking to, starting to question this thing and the process gone, is uh, everybody forgotten about it, what's, what's next? So this is uh, shortly the situation now. And uh, so, uh, I can, uh, so this is how the, how the platform looks like now, it also has the kind of uh, uh, the, all the process, uh, all the discussions are visible, plus the, the, the kind of uh, summaries of the other other stages and, and some of the articles related to it. But basically, it's, it's still visible as it is now, only locked, so you can't log in. One thing we did, we did uh, the login only with the ID card, which was also because there were so many. Uh, we didn't have kind of management power to be able to get moderate it because there was too much interest in it, and we thought that. Uh, uh, we would uh, the kind of belief in it would would go go down.
down too much if somebody wants to kind of uh, just post uh, random things there. And so we basically, uh, the only citizens with ID card, uh, which, which is basically everybody who wants to, uh, can uh, log in there. Plus, uh, no, there was uh, some people submitted via email and, uh, and physical uh, mail as well. Which were inserted into the system. Yeah. Also, the reason for uh, using the ID card is that you know, our political leadership is so very proud of it. And the president said, forget about it. Without the ID, you're not going anywhere. Facebook is the American stuff. We don't want it. <laughs> So this, uh, yeah, the, there was a, we had a debate over it, but, but the final sent for ID card, and I think it was a wise decision. We couldn't have managed uh, for otherwise. And so, uh, and also thanks for Gunnar and, uh, and, and Robert for the, for the code. So it was really helpful, otherwise I couldn't have done it so fast. And uh, so this is, uh, so everybody who wants to look to code, this, uh, the, uh, it's, it's up in the, in the GitHub repository, so what, what we haven't done the kind of documentations to kind of how to how to do the process. So this is shortly it. So any Thanks questions? Any short questions?